radar doesn't really work the way that it used to work. So now they have to go to next generation. So it uses a combination of frequencies modulated to try to create a clear picture based on objects that are moving through space, not static through space. A lot of our introduction to NEXRAD radar was that these things can be used to actually steer storms, sometimes storms, storm systems as big as hurricanes. Uh, you know about cloud seeding, but what about the actual steering? Uh, is that, am I simplifying it too much? No, no, uh, here's how it works. The ionosphere sits above the stratosphere. So when you heat it up and you push it out into space, say 35 kilometers, you create a void above the troposphere. And what happens is the stratosphere moves to fill in that void. Well, what else runs in it is the atmospheric river, billions of gallons of water going overhead all the time. Once you move that position of that, you can change the temperature of it and cause it to rain or move the rain somewhere else and starve an area of rain. So weather modification is one of the easiest things to do with ARP. 